Uh, okay, so basically, let's see. Uh, this is what a typical Confluence page would look like. Uh, you would have a heading. Uh, you would have some text. Uh, there will be some people who are tagged to the page uh, to do some task, and then there would be a particular table. Now, in this example, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the targets from my sales team, and then I will share that with the leadership team. So I want the targets from January to June. So the first uh, half year of the, uh, so the first half year of FI19, and then I will create a total uh, manually. Uh, or I can do this, or what I can do is I can just publish an uh, excellent table. Uh, And I can edit it right inside Confluence. So I can, uh, if you can see that this is a very familiar look and feel. Uh, you have the same cells, you have same uh, rows, columns. On the top, we have uh, a very similar menu to your favorite uh, spreadsheet tools. And uh, you can enter in the uh, similar manner. Uh, one more thing you can do is you can uh, import your files from uh, we support CSV and uh, XLSX right now. Uh, that is the that is the uh, current Excel format and uh, the CSV format. So I'm just importing one particular file, and if you can see that uh, I we have also imported uh, colors, we have imported uh, cell merging and um, and so on and so forth so it is uh, basically our import functions are quite uh, well okay so basically this is a sheet that i want uh, all my uh, folks to edit and then i will create a total uh, once i'll create a total and do some calculations before i'll share this with the uh, leadership team okay so i have uh, forwarded this to my team and uh, they are, have started entering the numbers. So you can see that uh, right now there are three people who have already logged in uh, and another person has just joined. He is, uh, they're all entering numbers and meanwhile what I can do is I can uh, change the formatting to whatever I want. Let me just uh, keep everything in dark black with uh, all the text in complete white and I'll make it all bold. So once they have um, created the whole thing and this I want to be in center. Uh, Again, the same thing here, the complete text in uh, white. The complete text in white, the complete background in black, and my team has almost finished entering the numbers. Now I can do, if you can uh, see your numbers are very similar to what you have uh, your formulas are very similar to what you have used before. Uh, very similar functionalities also to Excel that you have used before. All right. So if you have seen, some people have already left. Uh, others are in the process of uh, leaving this and the okay so others are in the process of leaving this and now if I have to let's say you know create a table where, where I want to do a calculation like uh, minimum or maximum or even a standard deviation which I don't really think that we are going to use it ever in a sales call uh, we can actually do it uh, right away
so we support all the formulas uh, uh, we support a lot of uh, formulas that excel supports using the same formatting and using the sorry i have to decrease the indentation for a while yeah uh, all right so basically you can see that uh, we have uh, decimal separators or i'll just put 86 here who cares uh, all right so basically yes here we have a, a great table we can do calculations very easily we have a rich formatting set here we can apply borders uh, to this table let me just do that so i want all borders and i want uh, borders to be solid and i want the color to be uh, well i'm a bit partial to black so let's uh, keep it as black and uh, that's it there you have a complete excel table uh, just save this if you try to save before uh, leaving it will say that the, you have unsaved changes and i, I can also uh, protect this sheet right now uh, close it uh, sorry the protection i have not saved so i can just oh okay so somehow it's taking the browser one um, i have saved this sheet i have closed this and uh, you can see uh, I'm getting a Confluence page.